I want to give you a great formula for respiratory health, whether you have mucus or you're overcoming some type of immune response. This is what I consider the perfect formula for supporting your lungs. Now, of course, check with your doctor before implementing any of my suggestions. This is not meant to replace your medical care. This is just meant to give you a good potential solution to help you pull yourself out of uh, a long situation and help you breathe because breathing is a good thing nowadays. All right, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a nebulizer. What's a nebulizer? Well, it's a little device that can turn liquid into a mist. So you can inhale the material that you're trying to use to help remedy your lung situation. So you're gonna use this nebulizer twice a day. Okay, now this is what you're gonna put in the nebulizer. It's all based around one cup of water. So the first thing you're gonna add is about a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. I like Himalayan sea salt, but you can use any of the good high quality sea salts. And so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna dissolve it in the water. So that's step one. Now, salt water is great for breaking up mucus, helping you breathe better. Uh, just like if you're at the ocean, you're just gonna naturally breathe better. So there's a lot of great properties in sea salt. Um, it's, it's, you know, to some degree, it's like a probiotic because there are friendly microbes in the salt. And there's not a lot of pathogens that actually live and thrive in sea salt. So sea salt is antimicrobial. All right, the next thing you're gonna put into this concoction is one drop of garlic oil. Okay, why garlic oil? Garlic oil is probably one of the most potent antimicrobial, potent antipathogenic uh, remedies that I know about. And so if there's anything unfriendly living in your sinuses or in your lungs, garlic is gonna make it very, very hard for those pathogens to exist especially in the virus family. Now, the next remedy that I'm gonna recommend is one drop of black seed oil. The remedy black seed has been around for a very, very long time, like thousands of years. One of the things that I like about it, it's great for your lungs. It's a bronchodilator. So it can actually open up your lungs and allow you to breathe better. It's also a very, very potent um, antimicrobial. It's a very, very potent anti-inflammatory all right, the next part of this remedy is you're going to get some povidone iodine. Another name for that would be betadine, but you're going to use two drops of this iodine, okay? Add two drops. Iodine is a known remedy for supporting everything respiratory as well as everything microbial. So iodine makes it very difficult for these pathogens to survive. So uh, iodine is a really good remedy for supporting healthy lungs. And I will put some interesting research in the description down below that you definitely want to uh, study. So you're not just taking my word for it. Now, the last thing I want to recommend, um, it's optional. I do recommend it, but um, colloidal silver has been around for 125 years at least. I think it was 1938. It was even used as a natural antibiotic. So colloidal silver is... Um, these suspended uh, particles of silver in a solution. And it's a great remedy for so many things. Uh, I used to give my kids, uh, I used to take it myself. You can put it in a neti pot, you can just put it in your mouth. You can even put it in your eye if there's an infection. So it's, it's quite safe and it's quite effective. So I would use five drops of colloidal silver. So just mix all this stuff up and do your nebulizer experience twice a day and start to breathe again so you can sleep better and you can function and uh, break up some of this mucus that tends to be lodged in your respiratory tract. Now, if you haven't seen my video on sea salt and your lungs, I put that right here. Check it out.